All right, you guys, so um, what you can see here is that I've got a Premiere file open. This is just a quick tutorial to show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. Um, I've got three different channels of audio, and this, this could be anything, but just for these purposes, it's all the same audio track, um, but whatever. I've got three different channels of audio, um, and I've got one uh, thing going on up here. Um, and what I, wanna, what I wanna do is export all three of these different audio channels as the same file. Um, and of course the goal is to have everything be this seven second length, of course, for your thing. Uh, it might be a minute, it might be two minutes, it doesn't really matter. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by soloing our track number one. Um, then we're gonna go to export, which is control M um, or command M in Mac. And what we're gonna do is choose waveform audio from the format. Uh, then what we're gonna do is choose a preset. It doesn't really matter what it is because we're gonna be changing things. Uh, we're gonna give it a name. So this is gonna be called channel one. I'm just gonna put these in a folder on my desktop called sample audio. All right, this is gonna be channel one. Uh, you could label it whatever you'd like. Channel one is just a demonstration. Um, sample rate 4800, channel stereo, sample size 16 bit. Please change this to 24. Um, and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and save this preset. Uh, we're gonna call this um, uh, audio for Gardner. All right, there we go. So preset audio for Gardner channel one dot wave. We're gonna make sure this says uh, source range. Make sure this says entire sequence. This is really important. If it doesn't say entire sequence, we're not gonna get the full seven seconds. We're just gonna get the portion that the audio is in. This is what I was talking about earlier, where if we have one second, we want it to really just be a minute long. We don't care whether or not there's audio for the entire channel. We really just want this entire sequence. So we're gonna go export. It was really quick. Um, I've got a fast computer, so that, that's how quick it does it for me. I'm going to go to audio two, uh, same thing, control M. Um, audio for Gardner, we're going to change this to channel two. Um, everything's already set up. We're going to change this to entire sequence, and we're going to click export. All right, that's done. Uh, now we're going to do channel three. Uh, we're going to click uh, the entire sequence and export. Okay, now what that's done is it's put three different, oh, sorry, I'm minimizing some stuff here. Let's put three different um, audio channels into this folder, channel one, channel two, and channel three. Now what I'm gonna do is take these three individual channels um, and I'm gonna put them into a program called Ableton Live, which I'm opening right now. The reason I need them this way is because it's going to be easy for me to sync these between your program and my program. So check this out, I'm gonna go ahead and delete basically everything except for one audio track. So what I'm gonna do on my side once I get these um, samples from you all, right? So I'll, I'll receive a file that has stuff like this in it, channel one, channel two, channel three, et cetera. It doesn't really matter how many there are. Um, but what I'm gonna do is import them into um, Ableton. And do you see here how I was saying the length is important? These are all the same length files. Um, but as you can see, there's no audio here. Just like in Premiere, let me show you a side to side comparison. Um, do you see how there's, the audio stops halfway for channel two? and it does the same thing in Ableton, that's because I told it to render the entire sequence length instead of just the clip length. So that's how you do it. It's a, a one at a time process. It's a little bit of a pain in the nuts, but um, that's, that's the way it's uh, gotta be to get audio out of Premiere.